I'm 37 years old. Uh, I was born in Jackson, Wyoming, and uh, grew up there skiing at first, and then got into snowboarding, turned snowboarding into a profession. So all through my high school days, I uh, was riding for Burton Snowboards, was on the American Snowboard Tour for a while, did a lot of competitions here locally, and then got into snowmobiling. And um, snowmobiling definitely took over as, as my true passion and what I do in the wintertime. I don't regret a thing about how uh, how everything sort of evolved. My favorite part of snowmobiling is I think every single day that I go out and ride, uh, it's just something different. Um, whether it's the snow conditions or the terrain that I'm riding in, uh, every time the environment changes, it's just like a whole new challenge in front of me. It's definitely my favorite part. With fuel economy the way it is, we just do things in little like 20 foot segments. Okay, cue the smoke. This is a 2013 Polaris Pro RMK 800. It's a 163 Allen Mangum of Timber Sled. Um, basically took this thing from a stock machine out of the crate and built it to what you see now. For the most part, he built this thing uh, from the ground up and just did an unbelievable job. Well, the crown jewel of this little machine behind me is definitely the Boondocker Turbo setup for this year. These guys have done an absolutely amazing job of once again, I think, redefining turbo technology. New for this year, they've got a new Garrett 2863 Turbo. They've got a new tile external wastegate. This is a, an intercooled turbo system with stainless steel housing, and it's also got a new stainless stainless steel muffler. Also new for this season for, for those of you guys that ran a turbo from a year ago where your control box and your electronic boost controller was separate, that is all now integrated into the control box. So fit and finish of this sled, unbelievable. The guys at Moondocker knocked it out of the park once again. We've got the, the new Evo R setups from Fox. Um, we've combined that with the rear suspension, same thing with the Fox Evo R's in the back. Uh, one thing that's super nice about the, the Mountain Tamer, the Timber Sled rear suspension, is that you're able to have uh, an air shock uh, for your front rear shock, which we haven't been able to do on a stock skid yet. So um, just the tunability and the way that you can refine the suspension uh, to me and for my style of riding, uh, it's just second to none. For the front rear bumpers, I've always used skins. They're, they're super reliable, super durable. This really protects the front end. They've got easy hooks. Uh, as well as if you are stuck, you've got just a, the way they step up a bit, you've got an easy way to get your hands in there. I've always got my low seats on there. Um, this one's sort of King Ranch looking. Really excited about going with the brown fabric that they did on there. Uh, just ties all of the stuff with the brown and tan and everything on the sled. We've also got the airframe running boards. Uh, without a doubt, in my opinion, the best aftermarket running board that you can install on your sled. New for this season, for 2013, they've got the new plastic cleats that make it so simple for you to add traction to the airframe running board wherever you think you need traction. The windshield bag um, been kind of created through Skins and myself. What I was after was trying to come up with a little bit of storage that was right over the balance point of the machine. They've also got some really smart things like uh, your footwell vents so that you're not getting snow inside where your belt drive is. Fly Racing and I have teamed up uh, to create my own next level handlebar. Um, differences of it primarily, um, it's got a little bit different back bend to it. Uh, the sweep is steeper so that we've got more control area for our controls so that we can cut our bars down, try to get a little bit more, uh, little bit more narrow feel. 
uh, while you're riding the snowmobile. Jordan Yankee, owner of Bardic FX, created this wrap. Uh, we went back and forth on color schemes, trying to just determine you know, what was going to look right at first brown and tan, and then we're trying to add all these elements to it. And thanks to Jordan and all his creativity, he's come up with, I think, uh, the industry's coolest wraps. Camoplast has come up with their new three-inch track. It's a real intimidating track to look at, but the flotation uh, as well as the traction with this sled set up the way it is, I just pointed uphill and the thing just finds traction even in this light fluff snow that we've got right now.